All right, everybody, I want to welcome you to beautiful Vancouver, Canada. My name is Cyrus Jansen, and I'm coming live at you from beautiful Granville Island. Now, the scenes here are absolutely stunning. This is one of the most popular tourist sites in all of Vancouver. And I'm really excited today because I'm actually down here at a local theater, and we are doing a TEDx event. I want to share with you a little bit my vision for the speech that I'm going to be giving today. And we're also going to share, you know, do an interview with the organizer of this TEDx TEDx event to basically, you know, kind of share with you the vision that they have. Now, many of you who follow this channel know that I'm very passionate about building relationships and building bridges. Um, I'm an American myself. I'm an American that lived in China for 10 years. I'm now in Vancouver, Canada, and this is a really exciting opportunity. Now, how this speech came about was this. I actually, um, two months ago, in November 2020, I traveled to a university here in Canada and I gave a keynote speech entitled, Why the World Needs China. Now this speech was very well received on YouTube. It's one of my most popular videos. If you haven't seen that speech, you can click on this link above to watch that. But basically, I'm trying to help more people around the world truly understand China. Now, I've mentioned this point before, but I feel that many people actually fear China, but the basis for that fear is a lack of understanding. Now, the organizers of this TEDx event, they saw my video and they've been following my YouTube channel for many months now, and they reached out to me and they said, Cyrus, we're organizing a TEDx event. Now, a TEDx is a little bit different than a TED event because the X stands for an independently organized event. Now, today's event is really special because this is actually a youth event. The target audience of the speech today is someone that is under the age of 21 and people that are getting ready to enter into the real world. So I'm gonna be presenting a really great topic today called five lessons that I learned from 10 years in China. Now I'm really excited to talk about this topic because China is a tremendously great passion of mine. And again, I'm really trying to do my part in the world to build these bridges. I think this is such an important thing that we can be doing right now. Now unfortunately, our world is very polarized. Many people around the world simply do not like China no matter what you talk about. And I know that some people, some of my critics here on YouTube, you know, are quick to label me, Cyrus, you're a CCP shill, you know, you work for the Chinese government. The reality is, is that China has meant a lot to me and I've dedicated a large portion of my life to China and I'm very passionate about helping more people truly understand this. Now here's the interesting thing about today's speech. My goal with this speech is to have a very motivating speech to help people, you know, really apply some of these great lessons that I've learned from China into their life. Now the goal with this speech specifically is that, let's say for example, let's imagine that you don't like China. Let's imagine that you are a huge critic of China. Maybe you don't even like my YouTube channel and the work that I do. My goal is with this speech is that everybody can take some positive lessons that I've learned in China and learn to apply that to their life. That's the goal with this speech. So there's not going to be anything political in this speech. It is just simply going to be motivating. It's going to be encouraging. And again, it's sharing five amazing lessons that I've learned and successfully applied to my life to help me live a better life. And these five lessons I've applied and it has helped me become a better man. Now, I really want to take a moment and thank all of the loyal subscribers and followers and supporters. Um, you know, we started this YouTube channel just over a year ago, and we are now knocking on the door of 100,000 subscribers, a really, truly great benchmark. And I think, again, I'm really trying to leverage my YouTube channel and, you know, certainly this speech today at the TEDx event to really help more people understand China. But again, we need to preach cooperation. You know, I think when we're looking at the events of the world today, you know, there is a lot of fear in the world. And I think when we, when we look at our countries, we have to look at ways of, you know, how do we cooperate with each other? You know, does the world really need more hatred? Does we, do we need another world war? Of course not. We don't need these things. And I think the reality is, is that when you look at these two amazing superpowers, China and the United States, it's very simple. They work better when they work together. 
and I know that China is very much willing to work with America. You can see that their new recent comments, you know, for example, uh, for President Biden that will be taking office very soon, you know, China has come out and said, look, we look forward to a new chapter in American and China relations. We look forward to building this. So I'm very optimistic about the future. I'm very optimistic about, you know, the future for China and America. All right, so now we're walking to the theater. Granville Island actually has two theaters here. This is the Art Club Theater Company here. And the location for today's event is the review stage. Here we are. We've made it inside the theater here. Here we are, the TEDx. This is a youth event at Grandview Heights. You don't want to do like, uh, I don't know, what's the coordination? Sorry? The famous TED Red Circle, where we're going to be giving our speech tonight. Looking out at the crowd here. This is going to be an exciting day. Let's come, let's come here in the light, George. So uh, this is George here. He is the event organizer. Hello. George, I, how are you today? I am completely fine. Fantastic. We'll keep our social distance here. Yes. You know, we're going to, we're doing our COVID thing, but. Okay. Yeah, George, um, just tell me a little bit about, you know, uh, you're the, you're the event organizer and this is a, uh, we see over here, this is a TEDx event, which means that it is an independently organized event. Yeah. Uh, just tell us briefly, what's your vision, you know, for this event and it is a youth event. So what does that mean? I always believe that the younger generation now, they are more empowered. Mm -hmm. They have more ideas. They're our future leaders. And I always believe that they are able to have their way of thinking and to share it with others around the world. We have a Leaders of Tomorrow Academy where we have them to learn the basic of public speaking and as well as leadership. Nice, and fantastic. In the future, we know that some of them, they do have ideas that are worth sharing. So that's just why we have the license for the TEDx to have some of our students and even the people around BC to be able to come and share their wonderful ideas to the world. Ah, oh, fantastic. Wow, that is fantastic. Yeah, we had a lot of speakers today and uh, I'm very honored. I think I'm the last speaker today, so thank you for giving me that honor. And especially, obviously, speaking at the youth event, I'm very honored because, you know, this is kind of giving some advice to, you know, say people under the age of 21 getting, getting ready to get out in the real world, you know, give them some advice. So I, I really uh, relish this opportunity and I'm very thankful to uh, be here. So thank you, George. Great to have you here with us, Cyrus. All right, thank you, sir. Prior to my graduation from Florida State University, I was invited to participate in an exit study with nine other university students. That afternoon, we were invited to meet the dean of the college. Now, one by one, we went around the room answering this question. I bought a one-way ticket to Shanghai. I'm moving to China. Now, 14 years ago, at the age of 22, now everyone, for copyright reasons, I'm only able to show you a quick 30 second clip of the film. Again, this has been a virtual speech and it will be released on YouTube at the end of January. Yeah, so how many speakers did you have today? Today we have 12 speakers. Nice. We have 12 speakers, all bright minds, great speakers, sharing great, wonderful ideas to the world. Fantastic. And how, did you like my speech today? Did I do a good job for you today? Your speech will be very helpful for a lot of the youth, for people around the world. It's a great perception. China is a different country. You give a different perspective, especially from what is going on here, from an American standpoint. You have with your experience in China, and I hope that the world will see it differently, open up their mind, and take great action to be better in the world. 
Nice, George, that was good. Well, it's good to get that feedback. Where it's kind of, this is kind of like a teaser video. So we're just kind of giving a little behind the scenes. Um, shout out to the crew here. Guys, thank you so much for your hard work. You know, I know it's not easy. These guys made it possible. So we're really looking forward to bringing this on the YouTube channel. Well, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video today and this behind the scenes look of a TEDx speech. There's a lot that goes into this. So I really want to give a big shout out to George who invited me here to be a part of this great youth event. Um, you know, we had 11 other speakers today, um, some of them very young in age. But again, I was chosen to be the, the last speaker because I wanted to kind of give a positive message, you know, to everybody. And I'm really excited to bring this to you, the YouTube channel channel. Again, it's going to be on the TED channel at the end of this month. We'll be sharing the link for that. So stay tuned. And I want to thank you guys for taking time with me today, watching the videos here on YouTube. You know, 2021 is going to be a very big year for China, for the United States. You know, let's keep moving forward with some positivity. And again, just remember that key phrase, when America and China learn to work together, the entire world is going to win. I can't wait to show you this speech. Let's go out there and build some bridges. Guys, thank you for your support. We'll see you in the next video.